Welcome, welcome. I'm Gpot Silverman, and this is a New World video. I'm actually pretty excited to do this one. I've been putting it off, putting it off. I've been real sick with a sinus infection. Bad, bad drainage, man. I love Dayquil, right? But let's stick to the topic here. Um, New World, man. It's amazing, right? The graphics. Look at these graphics. Uh, the place, the playthrough, amazing. Um, they had some issues at launch. I didn't start till a couple days ago, so I am behind everybody, but this game's going to go on and on, right? I mean, if it's a decent MMO, anyway, it will. Considering it's made by Amazon, I don't think we have anything to worry about, really. Um, I want to tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, I'm new to YouTube. Uh, about six weeks in on doing this, I actually make content on Marvel Strike Force, a mobile game. And I am enjoying it. Well, I want to try this. I love MMOs. Uh, I got a decade into ESO. Three, four, five years across multiple platforms on Black Desert Online. And if you're looking around, I kind of look like Carl from The Walking Dead. Um, this is Black Desert almost. You can flag up. You can, you know, and you can't flag up at it like the blink of an eye. But you can do it before you leave a town and then run anywhere. So you're always, it's almost like you're in a survival game all the time. It's amazing, okay? Now, this ain't an official review or nothing. It's just kind of my thoughts after 48 hours of being in the game. And really, that equates to about 10 to 12 hours of gameplay. Um, I do have quite a few tips from just starting out here. Um, and as I go, I will have guides and stuff out and things you should be doing. Um, things you can be doing, I should say. So that way... You're helping your account. Um, and it's stuff you can take with a grain of salt or stuff you can really follow and enjoy. Um, there's a lot of stuff I don't know, obviously. It's a brand new game. There's a ton of information out there. Uh, I want to start off by saying the graphics are amazing. It's a beautiful, beautiful game. Um, the story looks amazing. From what I've seen so far, the story is quite awesome. And that's like one of the three things you can do in the game is the story. Um, then you got PvP. And then you got your life skills or PVE. Um, and I'll get more into that, you know, as as we go on here. But combat seems simple, if not a little clunky at first, till you start getting your moves unlocked. And once you have those moves unlocked, you're doing a lot less clunky, light and heavy attack type movements um, and dodges to where you're you're almost fluid. It's it's awesome. Here, let me see if I can show some of these off. This is with my rapier. Uh, that's one of my biggest tips, guys. See how that kind of went? That was three moves. But uh, I switch over to my spear. Like, I'll jump in, stab, do a kick to the face, knocking him back, and then I'll do three quick hits. And then I'll switch over to my heavy attacks or light attacks. And that's quite awesome. You can also put up these camps anywhere in the world and respond to them if, you're dying, if you die or something. So you don't have to go back to the town and then run clear across the map. <laughs> Looking here, you can see my, I'm this tiny little guy here. Well, to run from here to here is like 20 seconds or 15 seconds. So you can imagine running just to here, five, 10 minutes. If you played Black Desert, you kind of understand how that works. There is a fast travel portal in the settlement. And once you've been to the other places, the other settlements are unlocked to you, you can fast travel to them, I believe. I don't, I haven't tried anything yet because I'm just questing right here. Uh, these are my quests, one and two. I don't want to get too much into the UI or the AI or none of that, but you can see my quests over here, one, two, three, and that way you don't get confused up here on your top map. Um, this game is awesome. The graphics are stunning. The story, you, you, I don't want to spoil anything, which I won't because I'm new to the game, but you crash on an island. You're following some dude's tip because he gave you a box with a little blue glowy thing in it. Well, that blue glowy stuff, I believe to be this blue stuff over here, Azoth? Is what I believe it to be. And he wanted more. Uh, used to fast travel. Uh, craft more powerful items and such as power. Pretty much. Magic. And it sends these people to this island. Well they all crash. Most die. The ones that die come back. And try to kill the ones that are left alive. Um, it's the gist of it. Now. Moving on into this a little further here. Um, the captain thought I stole his box when we crashed. He died, needed to say, became an evil dude. I got to kick his butt later. It was awesome. Um, graphics, again, sensational. Um, the intro music's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there are three uh, factions in this game. Uh, whereas you would be... How would I say that? Instead of being an alliance and doing node wars, or being Ebonheart, uh, 
Daggerfall or all the elves. I can't even think what their names are. The the bananas in ESO. Um, <laughs> you know, he's called Blueberries for Covenant, you know, uh, etc. But in this, there is the Covenant. They are the holy worshippers. That's the one I chose. Um, I'm religious myself, so I thought it'd be cool. Sometimes these uh, holy people in these games are zealots and like fanatics and crazy. So we're going to see how that turns out. It might be fun, actually. Um, Syndicate is the scientist or the alchemist. They're purple. You know, uh, they believe in science over everything. Science is an answer to everything. Um, I almost went with them because that's, I also believe that too. Um, marauders are warriors. So if you're just here for the PvP and to kill things and level up as fast as you can and be the strongest guy in the server, Marauders is definitely for you because it's all about warriors. <laughs> they believe everything's settled in combat or decided that way. So if you want to bash people's heads in and get rewarded for it, there you go. You know what I mean? Uh, marauders, that's the three factions. Um, touching again on the Covenant, though, they are the bringers of light. Light is divine, and they're here to fight the evil of uh, Art Artem. Um etc you know uh joining a faction you can then flag up for pvp in towns and once you do that you leave the town it gives you a 30 second buffer so you can run 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 and they could be chasing after you you know and if they are following you you could cut back into town and they can't hurt you so essentially it prevents them from uh town camping or you know what i mean spawn camping you pretty much um so i remember in black desert we used to fight you know, right on the edge of town, and when people would step out, we'd fight, and then they'd hide back and duck back, and they've found a workaround. Let's see how it plays out, you know, and we'll see as it goes, but PvP is a big part of this game, so if PvP ain't your thing, don't worry, because life going is the other 50% of this game, if not more, you know, because everything in this game is crafted by the players. Um, some of it's gear drops, but everybody's going to get those drops pretty much by farming or playing the storyline. So the better gear is going to come from people that can craft it. Um, and that's where the economy will be, I believe. So we'll see how things go and how they play out and move on. Um, what the new updates bring, if they bring new gear or higher gear tiers or what. But um, I plan to be here through all of it. So like and subscribe, man. Um, I'm hoping this will be my game that blows up my account and just makes me a professional YouTuber. Um, I'm still not a YouTube partner or nothing, guys. Um, but I'm thinking this could do it. I'm gonna, one last thing, I guess, before I jump into the tips. Uh, while you're flagged, you receive 10% more experience. So, like, if I want to run around and cut down trees or mine ore or whatever it may be, I'm getting 10% more XP. And you can see how long it takes, and that's based on the quality of your axe or your, your farming gear. So, looking here in my tab, I have a pickaxe that's green. And it actually shows stats on it. And mine's 12% more. My knife, 3%, 3.5% chance better of getting tannins and stuff. So if you're big into ESO, you can get tannins. That'll refine leathers, I'm assuming, and build cloth, clothing, um, armor. And this also harvests more. It increases its durability, which it slowly goes down if you play Black Desert. Um, and they break. Now you have these repair parts down here at the bottom. I got 12 out of 200. I think it's weapons and armor. Okay, derived from. So when I break down this white shield because it's a common nobody's gonna buy that okay um maybe call for one coin or something i don't know but i just hit salvage okay so i get 0.25 coin and two repair parts that's worth more than selling it to someone else for one whole coin i think i don't know <clears throat> the economy won't be decided until the player base decides the economy so the going rate on that right now is simply for me just to smash it it's not worth my time um, light gloves. I am going for a light build because I like it. Um, you can do a back spin or a barrel roll type thing like a cartwheel. Whereas if you go up here to medium, which I am right now, it does like a juke. So I'll hit evade. See how he jukes around. I don't really care for that. And when you're on light, light armor, you'll do like a back roll or belly roll or something here. Let's take this off. Boom. Oh, whoa, buddy um tab how do we get out of that but watch i'll do my see how he rolls tell me that isn't cooler then you come up and just pow, right you know what i mean or let's do an evade and do a q r 
F, evade into a heavy attack, light attack. I mean, they should be dead at that point. If they're not, there's a problem, okay? Um, all right, I want to jump into these tips real quick. This is just an intro, kind of my, my channel, guys, what you can expect. I'm a big life skiller from BDO, and I'm a big farmer, life skiller from ESO. Uh, the bots is what ruined ESO for me after 10 years. I couldn't take it anymore. And the bots and the starter villages and such, taking the nodes before I could run up and grab a node when I'm actually manually trying to do something and they wouldn't fix it. So I quit their game and I gave them a lot of money. So they probably don't care that I quit. I'm just hoping more people do quit because that's what breaks games. Okay. Um, we'll see how it affects this game too as well. Cause I'm sure it can happen. Um, let's jump into these tips here. So I'm going to move my mic a little bit. Uh, okay. Get this. I actually found loot while wandering around um i don't know about you guys but like do you remember final fantasy and such um you would literally run along a wall hitting x over and over hoping to pick something up that you could not see on the screen and you'd get tons of great stuff right <laughs> you'd go the mansion would be over there those yellow tabs and i'd run that way because i wanted to and i'd find a treasure chest off in a corner in a cove somewhere that nobody would ever think to go look that held some awesome piece of gear right yeah this game it brought that back so far and i'm i'm quite amazed it's amazing easter eggs and games uh the sense of adventure it gives you that new world honestly i wasn't gonna play it when it's not when i heard about it a year ago or so or whatever you know how it's been going through all this stuff is heavy into pvp that's not my thing i am gonna be pvp obviously on here a lot i liked it in bdo where i could smack somebody in the face if they were in my farming spot you lose you leave you know um I love that aspect. <laughs> ESO, you can't attack those bots. If I could, I'd kill all of them. And then they wouldn't be able to sit there and get loot for their cheating, whatever he is. You know what I mean? But anyway, that's going to be awesome. And in here, there's a lot of invasions. I just want to go over that a little bit here. Map, like see how it's upcoming war. They've basically got enough, uh, built up enough reputation that they can challenge, take over that region. Um, I think this was green the other night. Apparently, my faction, the Covenant, or no, yeah, the Covenant, the Warshippers, <laughs> took it from the green, which is the Warriors. That's crazy, right? Um, so, and it doesn't, you can't, it doesn't mean you're not a warrior if you're an alchemist. It just means that's what these three factions is. These guys are all like, hey, let's smash heads. These guys are like, hey, let's go pick plants and make big poisons and potions. These guys are like, turn to the light, I'm in, you know, so... It doesn't dictate if you can swing a, a battle axe or not okay so don't don't i hope i wasn't conveying that uh it's just more so that way you can fight against other people it's their system of saying you're different from them for one reason or another now you can kill them by flagging up <laughs> you know so that's what it is um it's awesome don't get me wrong this game's amazing there's nothing bad that i can say so far about this game again it is the first 48 hours um look at this you got your bio your attributes and that's what's cool too. Here's a huge, huge tip. I'm going fire staff. Why? Because I like to be a battle mage. I'm also going to get the life, the life staff. It's one of the main ways to do an AOE heal for your group. Anybody can use it, but obviously focusing on it, you'll be a better healer. And you're going to be coveted by clans and guilds. Um, but I've always been a healer in games. A paladin, a templar type deal. Ice gauntlet is amazing looking, but it's not for me. Um, I'm going to go Rapier, probably maybe Musket. I love the bone arrow in this game. They brought it back like Skyrim, where it's actually, you have to put the crosshair and you can follow stuff and lead it. And it's awesome. Okay. Um, you can draw back extra power. The arrow drops. It arcs. I mean, amazing work. Amazon, did, they did amazing on this game. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say here is this is only health. You put points right here, which I have, they give you health. It also gives you 10% logging speed. You need both, right? Because you're going to have to cut down trees eventually to make money to get better gear that people have crafted. Um, it's just a guarantee if you're going to play the game. My point here is if I'm going to go fire staff, and I know that, no matter how bad it is, I have no idea at this point or how good it is. I just want the fire staff. I love to be a battle mage. I'm going to go rapier. Why? Because when I put points here, it's going to help both of my weapons. One's for up close, chop somebody down. This one's for long distance or AOEs. Great for PVE content. Um, 
in my opinion. That'd be my guess. Same as like up here, the bow and the hatchet. Up close, ranged, AOEs, PVE, um, spear and bow, you know, musket and hatchet, ranged and close up. You know what I'm saying? Single target damage, AOE damage, you know, and that might be AOE. I don't know if it is. Don't quote me. I'm just saying that's different things you got to look at. But you can get two weapons pretty much slot one and slot two you're going to focus on one obviously but a backup doesn't hurt because if you can swap weapons and then go through their combo that's six moves you're getting off you know what i mean as opposed to their three moves while they're on cooldown and you're into your second moves you're slaughtering enemies okay um a lot of people aren't going to know that right off the bat just something to think about when you're investing points See, and i don't need to put no points here other than i want the 10 percent skinning speed right 5% chance to land a critical. Those are bonus effects that can help anyone, but the dexterity alone helps these. Primary attribute for the bow, rapier, spear, and musket. Okay, rapier is also down here, but I want the fire staff, and this is the only one with the fire staff. So my intelligence has got to be really, really high. I'll also harvest quick. I probably should have went with the purple faction. I don't know, man. This game, there's so much to it. I'm telling you, it's like, it's one of those little China doll things where when you split them in half, it's a smaller one and split it in half and you just keep going and going, right? When will it end? Who knows? You got to figure it out though, right? I don't know. All right. Um, let's get to this next tip here. Um, they're bringing Easter eggs back. Um, your first storage shed, don't panic because I overfilled on stuff because I was cutting trees. I was just having a heyday, right? I was hunting boar. I fought this one boar. He's like a level nine. I was a level seven. I was poking him in the eye. He totally, he murked me, bro. Needless to say, I was over encumbered. I ended up in this town. About 10 missions into the game and it will have a storage shed and it's completely free uh you can increase the weight that it can hold which you're going to need to do and these storage sheds are unique to each region so if you put something in this storage shed in everfall you can't go across to another place and get it without paying coin and coin is it actually you have to have to work to get the coin to make coin in this game you know what i mean you have to put in a good effort um it just doesn't fall out of your you know out of trees and stuff um so it's, it's pretty realistic but this is the storage shit here and there's two of them in this time there's one here and there's one on the other side over there this is the auction house i'll be making guides on all this stuff guys um this is kind of my preview here but you get a limited thousand pounds i got it up to 75 already so 1075 you can carry 200 but look at all this stuff i'm just storing up fishing bay these are my crafting mods and you use these when you want to get like a rare proc on your farming gear or on a weapon or a piece of gear that you're crafting like these two i used them on these things and it made them green and gave them an extra perk like you generate seven percent more threat three more strength that's a bonus perk you get what i'm saying from using these crafting mods um but the storage is free except if you want to spend like uh the town when you're doing missions here they give you these points to spend right here on your character uh where would it be i don't know where it is but they give it to you okay <laughs> um right over here on the side territory standing i'm a level seven so i have seven points that i've invested and you can buy one out of these three options they sell you like you get more XP, so you level up quicker. You get 16% faster farming time. I get more trees than you do faster. Um, more storage space in the town, Everfall. This is, this Everfall is just a spot right here. This outlined spot, guys. See how it changes spots at the border? So anywhere in this region, I can harvest a lot faster than a lot of other people. I'm not going to join your company because I don't know what you're about. That is something I haven't dove into yet, and I want to so badly, but I don't want to make the wrong decision early on, and I don't want to give out any information that ain't accurate. So, put your extra stuff in storage. You can craft anytime. Like, if you're crafting, it'll pull out of that storage, assuming you're in that same spot. Like, I go over there. I go over here, and there's like five, ten crafting spots over there. Woodworking and all that. Metal, stone, etc. Smelters, forges, and it'll pull straight out of the storage here. I don't think it'll pull from a different storage unless you pay or it might not pull at all you might have to transfer it so these are things that are going to come in the future and then i'll make guides on um a couple more quick tips and i'll wrap up this video auto pen and journal so all quests show on your main screen you can see on the 
I guess it's my right hand, maybe your right hand, I don't know, but it's showing my quest one, two, and three up there. You just want to go into, uh, oops, that's the wrong button. Your settings, or not your settings, your journal. Auto pin, yes, yes, yes. See how those are all yes, I checked this. So when these pop in, I'll get them on my screen, I'll know what I actually have. That's a preference thing, otherwise it'll just show your main quest. It won't show your other ones, but it will show on your map thing at the top of the screen here. Um... Main story quests are yellow. Look for bright colors when farming, you know, like orange is a uh, berry bush. And a lot of the bright colors aren't actually anything except, a, you know, if it doesn't look dead, it ain't a bush. It's really weird in this game. But the brighter the color is, and then some of them are like electrical and elemental and such, and those Appian stuff, but as you're collecting them, gathering, I should call it. So look for bright colors, things that stand out. They're going to trigger you. There's also these pages laying around, guys. It's in your journal. Um, it's huge. Well, it's not huge, I guess, but it, to me, I'm a collector of stuff, right? Where are you guys at? Where you hide? As you can see, I still haven't figured out the whole thingy magic bobber, but it's gotta be in journal, right? Yeah, documents. All right, so you'll collect these pages. You see how I've got these four out of this, or I got the second one, but I don't got the first one. They're going to be bright blue, almost like the books in ESO. Actually, exactly like it. And they're going to be glowing and putting off an aura. And you'll find them in the weirdest places, man. I'm telling you, just like ESO. So make sure to keep your eye out for bright colors and things like that. I know I've taken up a lot of your time, guys. Um, I just want to ask for your subscription. Subscribe to the channel. A lot of guides to be coming, guys. But I want to put in the work and make sure I'm giving you accurate information. Um, if you like the way I deliver my message and the things I'm into, and if you're into this game... Absolutely hit that subscribe button. Also, if you like this video or you found any of it interesting, like the bearded dude all over the place, scatterbrained, um, hit that thumbs up. It'll help my channel grow. And uh, stay healthy, and we'll see you in the next one, guys.